Hey everybody, it's uh, John here again, and today I have another Masters of the Universe Classics figure. Now we uh, are in countdown mode to the end of Maddie Collector, and uh, this is Krita. You can see it came in its uh, shipping box here. I'm always teeting, or, uh have expecting them to have really bad eyes when I first bring them out of the box. So let's see what we got. Actually, her eyes are very well done. Cool. Her face is nice. Um, she is one of the space mutants from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the New Adventures era. She was the female of the mutants. Kind of like the evil Lynn of the evil masters. And... It's, uh, the sticker's really nice. Not a whole lot different. Same boxes they've been using for quite a while. Has a little blurb that she's one of the Collector's Choice figures. And there's no bio on the box. So, I have all these except for Flog, who is the leader. So, one of these days I'll have to pick him up. Um, yeah, she's, uh, so far, interesting color scheme. Looks like she's got some paint work on her elbow already inside the package, but um, just give me a second here, and I'll take her outside the package, and we'll get a closer look. Alright, here we have Krita outside of her package, and uh, for some reason, she seems to be looking off to the right constantly. I do like the overall look of her head. She looks like she's some kind of 80s pop idol. Um, almost looks like she could be on the... Uh, Possibly the main actress from Howard the Duck. Uh, there's some issues with this figure right off the bat that kind of bother me out of the package. But, I mean, just standing here, she looks very nice. Let me get a quick close-up here of her face. It's uh, got a lot of nice detail. The eyes are very clean, which is nice. So is the paint on the lips. The gold art headband's good. You can see in the inside. I don't know. Well, maybe you can't, but in the inside of her head there, they missed some painting of the hair color. It is this weird brown. Um, it's a brown mold with uh, this orange highlights on top of it. She does have some nice painted details on her top here, and but there is a paint mark on her chest. Right there, and a paint smudge right there, and there's a paint smudge right here. Uh, she has some paint wearing on her elbow. And her wrist has some smudge, and there is a paint blemish right here on the back of her cape piece. Which it itself is a problem, and it's going to hinder your articulation greatly because it is glued into her wrists here, so it, you can't take it out in any way, shape, or form, which means you can only lift her arms this high. Or do this. But other than that, you can't get her arms to go any farther out because they're attached to the uh, this weird piece. I mean, I guess you could cut it off. But it just... What's the point of our making her arms articulated if they don't move? It's kind of silly. Um, her boots are nice, though. I really like the look of her boots. The colors are cool. I like how the uh, this magenta goes kind of with her pale purple skin that she has. Uh, yeah, let's uh, look at... Oh, she does have a little bit of gold on her necklace. was a nice, nice touch. And on her belt. Um, she does have very limited head rotation. Does go all the way around if you can get it past her hair. Which... Yeah, there it goes. Um, it does barely move up and down. You can't get anything... Any movement out of her shoulders. You can still swivel her biceps a little. Yay! And her elbows, you can extend a little bit more, but that's about it. She does have wrist rotation 
Oh yeah, there's a nice little ring on her hand. That is a very nice touch. You can swivel her at the waist. And her uh, hip articulation goes to here as because of the skirt piece she has on. My legs seem to be rotated in like she's pigeon-toed, but I can't get them to straighten out. No, her, she doesn't seem to have any... Up, no, no upper thigh rotation or anything, so her legs just kind of sit like that. She does have a single knotted cheat, or knee bend, no boot cuts, and her ankles do move back and forth, and have a very mild rocker in them. But she does stand up pretty easy, which is good. Uh, her knees buckle a little too easy. It's kind of sad, because I really like the look of this character, but... Overall, the design of her doesn't make any sense. They should have made it so you can at least unplug the little cape piece. Though, because you can, it's... Her, oops, her arms are almost useless. That's, that's as high as they go. She isn't going to be fighting anybody. I mean... Again, this last year, these figures is been pretty disappointing and for the most part. Well, she does come with a few accessories here. Let's see, she's got this little wand or it almost looks more like a scepter and it has a orange colored jewel in this side of it. It does have some pretty bad paint rubbing going on. The gold's coming off already and it fits really well under her hand. Uh, she has, it might be just the shortened version of her whip here, which is f the fully extended version of it. It's quite large, and it will fit into her hand just as well as the staff does. But she can't really lift it high enough to even get it off the ground. So, I mean, you can make her stand like this, I guess. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't get what what happened here. And then she comes with um, one other item. This rather odd-looking laser gun that looks like it probably should have come from Silverhawks. And her knees are getting really bad. So I'm gonna. Assume she holds it here and here, which means you have to get it over her head. Put this in her hand, and and she can't grip the other end, so she can't actually aim it at anything. Maybe if you have her stand sideways. I don't know. The figure's got lots of pluses and minuses. Um, like I said, I really like the head sculpt. I like the overall color scheme of her. That cape is just so annoying. They, why couldn't they just let it be unpluggable so we can display her a little bit easier? And this gun is silly. I mean, it doesn't... The only way to hold it is on the side of this thing, and that means you can't really aim it. You should be able to hold it with two hands. But, again, you can't because of the cape. <sighs> and her knees, which are about the only articulated piece of her legs, are weak. I don't know if it's the cape that's keeping her off balance, maybe. I guess if she's just going to stand there on your shelf, um, she's pretty interesting, but if you're going to try to pose her in any way, you're not going to get a whole lot out of her. I'll probably just have her standing there holding her staff, because the 
The whip just hangs to the floor and the gun doesn't point at anything. She's definitely always looking over to the right like she's paranoid about something. Maybe it's just because she knows she can't lift her arms up to even... Maybe she's got a itch on her nose that she can't even touch. It's so bad. <sighs> Alright, well, there's Krita. I don't know, guys. Uh, let me comment. What do you think about this thing? It's, it's got an interesting design to it. There's no paint application on it. And you can't really aim it at anything. I mean, I guess you could stick it on sideways like this, but then what's the point of the strap? Or maybe she holds it underneath. Let's try that. But you just can't lift her arm any higher than that, so it's going to hang gonna hang almost at her knee and then the strap can't go over her shoulders yep don't like this thing this thing is I don't know <sighs> man that really bothers me I can't lift her arm up any more than that well there's Krita I guess um, anyway Thanks for checking out this review. If um, you found this interesting at all, maybe give me a, a thumbs up and click that likes button. If you didn't like it, I guess do the opposite. And uh, as always, subscribe for more, and thanks for looking.